Constantino. Ole. Pound for pound. We're here with the future of boxing, Jose Rayo Valenzuela, Valenzuela of Team Benavides. Rayo, talk to me about your last minute replacement opponent, 14 0, undefeated, 13 knockouts. Talk to me about him. Um, uh, he's a tough fighter, you know what I'm saying? He has that knockout power. He has 14 fights, 13 wins by knockout. Uh, so I'm very excited, you know, I believe he's going to be the best out of me. Yeah. Let's go back a little bit. Let's go back. It's because they're talking loud. Uh -huh, go ahead. Yeah, you know, uh, he has 14 fights, 13 knockouts, so I believe he's gonna bring the best out of me. Um, he was already uh, getting ready for one of, uh, for a fight a week after mine, so he's had a, a full camp, which excites me even more. I don't want no excuses when when I knock his ass out. All right, so it's safe to say that you're looking for the knockout against uh, KO. Yeah, I don't right? think that's a secret. You know, um, people know I come to fight. I come with bad intentions, and you know, I, I'm looking for the knockout. Rayo, talk about obviously turning pro. It looks like now you're getting so comfortable in there. It's like a home for you. You're, you know, you're letting your punches go. How has turning pro and like your experience helped you thus far? Definitely. You know, I was actually uh, talking to David um, not to after my fight. You know, my Bandido Vargas uh, fight. Um, when I was in the ring right before that bell rung. I just felt like I was in my living room, you know what I'm saying? I felt good, I felt comfortable, and then, you know, of course it showed. And I just got to keep doing that uh, this Sunday, be relaxed, and, you know, uh, just be patient. What do you attribute, th attribute that to, the relaxation? Like I the, think the just being, uh, being around him, you know, all the experience that he's uh, passed on to me, you know, he's been teaching me in the gym, in and out. Uh, I feel like, you know, I got, I got a little edge because uh, I, I'm able to work with uh, a champion. Is it safe to say that you being in the shadow, seeing him in the locker room throughout the whole camp, having camp with him, you know, sparring him has helped you so much, like, take your game to the next level? Definitely. I think it's prepared me for these moments, and I think it's showing. What does he tell you as far as, like, hey, like, right before a fight? What does he tell you? Well, you know, back then when I first started, I was, I was super eager just to jump in there and start swinging, and it was giving me problems. Um, we knew I had the skill, but I was just able to relax. So, you know, he would just tell me to breathe, you know, just be calm, do what I do. And then slowly, you know, I, I just, it just one day clicked. And I feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I, I, I know, I know where I'm at. And I, that's what I, I, I do what I love to do. And I just do, you know, do that. Bio, you're obviously in one of the hottest divisions in boxing, if not the hottest. This is the new wave of boxing coming in. You, Tank, Haney, Ryan, Shakur, etc., etc. How excited are you that you had an arm's reach with those guys? Oh man, I'm very excited. You know, uh, it motivates me every day to get up and work hard. Um, I was listening to Pitbull uh, talk when they asked him about me, but. You know, this is the shit that kind of bums me out. You know, he said I don't got the resume to, to fight him yet, but he's over here acting like he's some kind of champion. Mm -hmm. He's acting like he beat Tank. You lost. You know what I'm saying? What are you talking about? Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not ready or I don't have the resume to fight him. The guy that I knocked out in the first round last fight, he went all rounds with him. He couldn't stop him. He had a war with him. And I knocked his, out, his ass out in the first round. So you know, but at the same time, you know that's a good thing. You know what I mean? That that shows that you know they got a little fear in their heart. What do you tell? Him? You know, he's a hell of a fighter, you know. Uh, I'm Mexican, he's Mexican, you know. Let, give me the opportunity, you know, to make that great fight happen. You know, I think it's a hell of a show, you know. Everybody would love to see that fight, both uh, action-packed fighters. So, what are we waiting for? Why are we looking over at Golden Boy, Ryan Garcia, over here, over there? You know, I'm right here. You guys are both under the same promotional company. Do you think it's inevitable that that fight has to happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It's going to happen, you know. They can only, you know, say what they want. You know, we're going to corner them. And how, how close are you, in your opinion, to a world title fight? Uh, well, hopefully, people give me the opportunity in the next fight. You know, I'll get through with him, and then I'll be ready. Obviously, Michael Rivera is under the promotional company as well. And, you know, PBC has a great relationship with me with the promotions. Tank Davis is right there. Yeah. Um, how excited are you? I mean, I feel like we're going to see those Yeah, those all fights. these fights have got to happen. Um, me, Frank Martin, Michelle Rivera, Pitbull. Um, but, you know, first things first, I got to get through this guy on Sunday. He's, he's a good fighter. He's tough. So, you know, I can't overlook him. But I'm well prepared, you know, and, 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 I, and I'm going to do so. All right, Rayo. Like I said, ever since I seen you, I knew you were going to be somebody in boxing. You're going to be a future world champion. I, yeah, you know, I want to thank you because you showed me love. You know what I'm saying? You, I was, you know, you behind David. Ain't nobody really looking at you. There's all, all these other prospects. And, you know, you always showed me some love. You put the camera on me and, and you did what you could. So thank you.
feeling is mutual, rival in Escuela. What do you want to tell the fans? What do you want to get off your chest uh, to the people? Just uh, keep on following me. Um, uh, and if you don't know who I am, tune in Sunday. You know, it's going to be explosive fireworks. Last question. You're looking to steal the show because obviously you got Pitbull Cruz who's going to look for the KO, obviously. Definitely. We heard, we heard Andy. They want to look for the knockout. Are you looking to steal those fans? Definitely. Uh, on the last card it was with Earl Spence and Ugas, you know, I had the only tremendous knockout of the night. Spectacular knockout, you know. You could say first round. So, you know, I'll be looking to do the same, but, you know, I won't be rushing things. All right. Thank you, Greg. Appreciate your time. Thank you.